guys, and welcome to the next episode of Which So-and-So Girls Would I Sleep With? For today's episode, we're covering Vivid Red Operation. Akane Ishiki. Definitely. One hell of a bubbly girl. She'd be loads of fun. Aoi Futaba. Yes. While she is a bit more mild-mannered, I think she'd contribute a lot. Himawari Shinomiya. Couple of problems with Himawari. I'd have to get her away from her computer, and she's not exactly the fittest girl around, but she still gets a yes. Mashiro Ishiki. It's been so long since I've watched the anime, I genuinely do not remember her. But judging by the screenshots of her being in hospital, I don't think it'd be happening anytime soon. So, maybe. Mizuha Amagi. I do remember she was kind of strict and almost all business. But if she agreed to do it, I'd still say yes. Mamo Ishiki. Definitely. While she doesn't love her sister to the same extent as Ui, she's still a sweet sister. Rei Kuroki. Absolutely. While I don't fully agree with what she did, I do understand why she did it. And I adore her. Wakaba Saigusa. Yes siri. That kendo practice would help her stamina immensely. Yuri Shijo. No. Nice woman, but too old for me. And that ends this episode. Let me know in the comments section which Vivid Red Operation girls you would sleep with, and stay tuned for the next episode. As always, please rate, comment, and subscribe, consider backing me on Patreon, and remember to stay chilled. And now for something completely different. Latin American soccer announcers on their day off. Oh. I'll have a cheeseburger, some fries, and the call!